Hola, muy buenas tardes, espero que estéis todos muy pero que muy bien. Bienvenidos un día más a mi canal con Red Dead Redemption 2. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An esthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. You know, be careful with the china, sir. It is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? Sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Vale, estoy ajustando unas pequeñas cosas. Vale, ya estoy dentro. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. 
Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Up, my dear hick friend here. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. told me yesterday that there's now more lawbreakers than honest earning folks around here. No wonder we can't Make get him here. look like a prince, sir. You know, sisters could see us now. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir.
Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks are on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Hello, mister. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Clyde. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Here we go, then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. I'm all in. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. 
So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the well, author of his own good Nothing book. ventured, nothing gained. Hair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Shot. It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look, there's your friend. He's not a no cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There.
Yeah, he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Ostras, ostras, Pedro. Pues nada, punto de control y a ver qué pasa aquí. ¿Qué ha pasado? Me han matado a mí. Has fallado, has abandonado la banda, pero, pero ¿por dónde tengo que salir? A ver. Ah, que aquí tenemos un barco. Pues así se salía. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Esto suena a otro capítulo. Vale, el día del banco. Vale, hay que volver al campamento, al parecer. O a estos puntos. A ver, un segundito. Look 
gal, mister. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm, that too. That too! <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Mm, vale. Vale, aquí tenemos otro punto de interés. Así que damos marcha atrás. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, yeah. Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I heard that gang's been roving the Howdy, fellas. Right okay there. Hello. How you doing, so, friend? Buying or selling? Great. Let's see. Hello, sir. Hey, why aren't you working? Hello. 
All made to measure. Marshall's family, Melon, that he delivered personally. My God. Sure. Another one? Sure. There, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Come on, you don't have to clean me out. I'm really not a bad man. Don't tell the police, please! They made me do it, I swear. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Help, please. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Esta misión sí me ha gustado, de ayudar a la gente. Hay que hacer más labores así, Arthur, ¿eh? What? 
Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Right. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Yeah. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Vale, ¿cuál es el punto más cercano? Ya hemos tocado casi todo por aquí. Médico, barbero. Estudio fotográfico, taberna, trampero, domino a 5, espectáculo, cuadra, diligencia, oficina de correos, vendedor de periódicos. Y yo estoy en... Y estoy aquí. Y tenemos que ir hacia allá y hacia allá. Vamos a por Dutch. Vale, un segundo hay que mirar el mapa, hay que llegar aquí. Entonces tengo que dar la vuelta a todo o qué? Se eso pare. A ver, ¿queda lejos esto? Ya no, ya hemos llegado.
So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea. But I hear it's paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. It's men. Like Mr. Bronte. Like Mr. Cornwall. It ruined the West. It ruined everything. So, there's no folk like that in Tahiti? There's folks like that everywhere. But in Tahiti, to my understanding, folks feed them to sharks rather than make them kings. <laughs> <laughs> that would be paradise. Exactly. Let's get going. Right you are. Vamos a ir creo que por Angelo. Hey no? Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. An interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I mean, you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Left. Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it.
not over yet! Head to the house! Shoot that lock, Arthur! Good! Now kick that damn door in! We got more inside! No, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? 
a city. Oh, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country, you, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. <laughs> Our friends of Major Ends are gonna come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 Call them now! You call them! Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Vaya, hombre, vaya. Arthur se ha quedado rayado después de esto, ¿eh? It's all right, boy. Yeah, here you are, boy. Vale, hacia dónde tiramos? San Denis, no. Ostras, hay que ir hasta ahí. Hasta casi Valentine, Águila Voladora. Pues vamos primero aquí.
What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's OK, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Venga, vamos a hacerles el favor. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Ostras, chaval. No well, quiero pagarle. Stand on ceremony. Ah, que podemos ir. Preguntar por el licor. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well. You might just be in love. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Vale, y otra cosa. Bueno, vamos a ver qué pone en el documento. Leer. Eh, Puente del pantano, Blue Atlanta, de San Andrés, que un carro viene en sur, todo el no lo tengo. Vale, guardamos. Nos salimos. Vale, un segundito. A Valentine. Nos vamos a Valentine. these runaways off the chain gang oh hello I heard both sides of that story they're either horrible murderers or they were just defending themselves what's happening here you on the run as to where they are you're a filthy trap why don't you mind your manners partner well I guess you don't know everything <laughs> so long Bye for now yeah all best get this here's a situation for us all man
Vale, un segundito. Ah, vale. Ahí está el animal legendario. Vamos a por ese animal legendario. Dime. ¿El qué? ¿Qué va? No, dime. Mañana mejor. Okay, mañana mejor. Un segundito, ahora voy a ver Rosal. Venga. Ah, chao. Vale, ¿qué hay aquí? Un segundo. Examinar el excremento. Ok, there. This could take a while. Pelo. Vale, antes que nada hay que sacar este arma. Vale, ha matado a algún animal. Una oveja. Vale.
Yep. Friend, you gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. There you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or, well, what the hell?
Let's not be too hasty. I will shoot you if you move again. God. All right. Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick. Vale, vamos a acabar esta misión y nos largamos. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards.
Vale. No fue la mejor idea de entrar de esta forma, ¿no? Sin duda no lo fue. Vamos a punto de control y veamos qué podemos hacer. ¿De qué otra forma podemos entrar? Perdonadme, me, me he ido un momento, pero ya estoy de regreso. Cuélate en la fábrica, nos colaremos, a ver por dónde. Vale, salimos de la... Vale. Need a 
compiled by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. Danbury. Think, man. My mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Come on, boy. A ver, vamos a mirar un segundo. ¿Qué es lo que tengo por aquí? A una persona desconocida. ¿Y en de qué es? Bueno. Hey, friend. 
hold back for a moment. <laughs> the name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. Vale. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. What do you want yarrow for, anyway? I've been told it can promote the flowering of one's health. I suppose we'll find out what that means when you find some. Those plants may take some searching. I'd get started. Follow me, boy. Ok, pues cogemos nuestro caballito y nos volvemos para Dutch. A ver qué tenemos aquí. Vale, un rancho. Hoy hay que bajar bastante. Madre mía, vaya forma más estúpida de atracarme, de verdad. 
qué pena. Pues señores y señoras, vamos a dejar el capítulo de hoy por aquí.